do you think of some of these YouTubers that dress from head to toe in designer wear? Cheers! Welcome to another one of my chit chat videos. I know how much you love them, or at least I know how much I love them. Let's discuss designer wear and let's discuss how some people just overdo the designer wear. Now, the idea of this video came from Leslie Craven, who asked me, when I asked for ideas of making videos, she asked, Do you have any high street clothing? or luxury brand clothing and she then goes on to say perhaps a collection video I believe most of the time you are dressed high low with a gorgeous bag shoes or occasionally a pair of jeans leggings or something from Primark yes you've got me down to a tea but before I start chit chatting just in case you're not already subscribed I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already because I am uploading a video every day of October because we are doing Blacktober. Whilst you're there subscribing if you haven't, dingling my bell which will remind you every time I upload a video. Okay, let's carry on with the chit chat. So, Leslie asked me, do you have any high street clothing? I have lots of high street clothing. My favourite high end high street clothing is Karen Millen. I absolutely love Karen Millen clothing. I have worn it for years. I kind of came away from it from a while, but I'm back on it. Not as much as I used to be. So if I were going out and I was looking for an outfit, I would immediately look on Karen Millen. My favourite place to buy a blouse from, a nice blouse from, is Karen Millen. I think they do the nicest blouses and for those of you that have been with me for a while you know I have a wardrobe full of blouses from Karen Millen I quite often wear them in my videos at the moment I'm wearing a very old jumper from Zara because that's what I was wearing today <laughs> we're at home you know we're in comfy wear I love this jumper actually this Zara jumper is quite a few years old anyway just in case you didn't know Karen Millen actually started by doing white shirts that's how they started off and then they became very famous for their tailoring and evening wear and that's where I would go for my evening wear when I first started to buy Karen Millen clothing I oh, I thought it was designer wear basically it was my designer wear but with age and time I moved on I don't have many designer items I have a Burberry coat I have a Balmain blazer, I have a Balmain t-shirt, I have designer bags obviously and designer shoes but we are sticking to clothes for this video. I'm trying to think if I have it. I have Amanda Wakely dresses which I wore to both my son's weddings. I I can't think of, I have, I have a Versace dress, I have Michael Kors dresses. Are they, is that designer? I don't know, I have quite a few Michael Kors dresses. So that's the kind of designer things I have. And I do shop from Primark, I do shop from Zara. For me, Primark is certain things I shop from Primark. I love my tights from Primark, I love my pajamas from Primark. Sometimes I get things for the gym, you know, like the outer sweatshirt type, fleece type things from Primark. Certain items, I wouldn't dress top to toe from Primark, I would have the odd thing from Primark. I don't like Primark pants, I know a lot of people like Primark pants and things like that. No, I'm a Max Spencer's girl when it comes to <laughs> underwear. So that's kind of what my wardrobe is like. So let's talk about the differences of designer wear and high-end wear. First of all, of course, it's the price. You are paying for a premium 
name. That's it. A premium brand. A lot of the time, of course, you are getting better quality materials. The cut is much better. You know, sometimes the items are hand stitched. You know, you get, you know, you're paying for all of these other extra things as well. Now, for me, when I go to Karen Millen, I feel as if I'm getting a good cut. And if I had to be totally honest, I don't think the quality is as good as it used to be. But I have all my dresses still from Karen Millen. I feel I can still pull any one of those dresses and wear them. I don't feel as if they date. It's my kind of styling. I tend to go for the same styling. I have a coat that I absolutely loved in the colour purple from Karen Millen. I have I have a lot and of course I have all my blouses from Carmen. I just love a Karen Millen blouse. Now let's move on to wearing designer wear from head to toe and if it's tacky or not. It seems to me a lot of the YouTubers that I have been following and were into all these luxury bags have now moved into designer wear. And there are a few that I feel are overdoing it. I feel like when, now I love a branding, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't know, sometimes, do you remember years and years and years ago when a Burberry became very fashionable? I'm gonna bring, I'll bring out my wallet. You know when Burberry became very fashionable <laughs> and people were wearing Burberry from head to toe? Now, I, I was that person that had the Burberry bag, the Burberry Borrelly, the Burberry scarf, but I wasn't wearing the Burberry, you know, skirt and top and everything. It just, it, it, does look too much and it does make it look tacky i mean i did like like when the gucci t-shirts came out and they had gucci and it just had gucci there i liked that but i feel with this you know when it's got chanel everywhere or it's got balenciaga everywhere and then you're wearing the balenciaga skirt and the balenciaga shoes and the uh, no it's, it's not nice it's not nice and you know sometimes you don't need all the labels you don't need to tell the whole wide world that you know that what you're wearing is designer that person that knows about designer knows you look at something the way it drapes the way it falls the way it cuts into somebody for example when somebody's wearing a barman blazer there's nothing on that blazer that says to the whole wide world that it is a Balmain blazer. You can tell. The minute you look at the cut, the minute you look at the structure, the minute you see how that cuts in and sits on the shoulders and those buttons, you know. You don't need a big label across it to say Balmain. You don't know. The person that knows, knows. It's the same with bags and things you know you don't need great big logos everywhere the minute you look at that material the minute you look at the item you just know now my friend has a chanel jacket she never said to me it was a chanel jacket but when she walked in and put that jacket on i was wowed i was like Wow, and I didn't know, and she never said to me that she had a Chanel jacket. And I was like, wow, that jacket is amazing. There was nothing on that jacket, you know, there was no big label saying Chanel, but I knew when I looked at it. And then when she said to me, I don't know whether we were talking or I happened to see the label when she put it down something i can't remember now what it was and i was like oh my god that is a chanel jacket and i i i i but i knew when i looked at that jacket it was a special jacket it's the detailing it's the cut it, that's what makes the difference of these designer items that's what makes the difference you don't need the big labels everywhere to tell you what it is and i think that's when it starts to look tacky i honestly do i do think a lot of these people that i'm now watching and buying all these designer items and wearing them all at once i don't think they 
doing any favours to the designers because I think they look awful. That's my personal opinion. I think they look absolutely tacky and that's my opinion. In the same way, when I look at some of these YouTubers and they have a wrist full of Cartier bracelets, I think it takes the beauty away. The minute you start adding four love bangles, it's not good. It's, it takes the beauty away from that one love bangle, as far as I'm concerned. I think two maximum love bangles any more than that it, it doesn't look good it takes the beauty away and i think that's what happens with designer clothes as well i think the minute you you put, you put it all on you know it's like this is all i've got i'm gonna wear it all this is me <laughs> it's not good that's why i like to mix everything up you know yes I may wear a jumper from Zara, I may wear a pair of leggings from Karen Millen, I'll have my designer bag and my designer shoes more often than not. You know, I like to mix it up and I think that's what makes an outfit look expensive. Not, I think the minute you start wearing, especially when it's, it's the same brand from top to bottom, it's not good. Let me tell you, it's not good, especially with the great big labels everywhere. <laughs> and it's, uh, no, don't do that. Well, you can do it if you want, it's up to you. You know, it's your choice. You know, you can wear what you like. But for me, I don't like to see that. I think that looks tacky. So going back to the original question, I like to mix it up. And it depends on the occasion as well. For going out, I love my Karen Millen for an evening out with my designer bag you know during the day in the house I'm in gym gear if I had to be honest but it's going to be my Zara jumper like I have here and yeah that's the things I like okay let me show you some of my items now that I was talking about as we're talking about design away we always like to see you know items I'm not going to try them on but I'll show you them okay so in here I have all my nice dresses and my nicer things so I have my Burberry coat which I'm sure you've all seen so would we agree that's designer okay I'll try this on for you just so we can see it on so this is my Burberry coat which I absolutely love there we go with the belt there we go <laughs> my bubbly trench there we go let me compare it to my Karen Mellon one so this is my Karen Mellon one which I've had for years you can tell I love the color purple color purple bags and purple coats and purple everything this, this, this one's getting a bit tight now <laughs> But it's the belt. Oh, I, do you know how I used to wear this? I used to keep the belt tied at the back and just normally wore it like that. So, I mean, look, it's just, isn't it beautiful? I love, look at the collar and yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. Here I have a Versace dress. There we go, Versace dress. Beautiful, love it. So it's got little straps as well. And I wore that to a wedding with my first pair of Gina shoes ever, which were my blue Gina shoes. So that's my Versace dress. I have some Michael Kors. I have a lot of Michael Kors clothes. I have a lot of Michael Kors clothes that I wear as casual wear as well, which is in my other wardrobe. Here I have my Bauman blazer. I have my Bauman t-shirt as well. That's in my wardrobe with all my tops over there. My latest item from Karen Millen was this here. So this is shorts at the bottom, which 
I love. So it looks like a jacket on the top and then shorts at the bottom. I think this one here, look at that, it's one of my favourite dresses. Wore that for my 50th. Was that a restress? I think that was, oh, I can't see. I don't think that one was a Karen Millen. I think that was, oh no, it's a coast. That was a coast dress. I love that dress. Let me show you Amanda Wakeley. This is what I wore at Costas and can't look at the detail of, look at this, look at the detail of that dress. That was a one shouldered long dress, look at the colour of that. Extremely long, so that was an Amanda Wakeley. Okay, and in here, oh, keep that, you see the bags? So in here, I keep all my um, blouses basically. So, for example, da -da, it's a Karen Millen blouse. I just, I mean, I have got so many. So I have a few white ones. This was one of my absolute favourite, favourite blouses. I to watch. I've got the wine sitting there. Cheers, by the way. It's got a nice sheen sparkle to it. Cuffs. Love it. I've got lot. I mean, lots and lots. What was the last one I bought? I think it was that one. I got that in February for my birthday. Look at that. Absolutely love them. And even I love to wear like a, a blouse with a pair of denims, a nice pair of shoes. That's just my look. Or a pair of leggings. You know, nice blouse with leggings. Absolutely love. My typical Karen Millen style that I like as well is this cutaway. I mean, that's that's just my style, and everybody knows this wardrobe is basically full of um, Karen Millen blouses. That's my latest one that I got. Again, all full with that style in there. I'm looking for my um, Bowman T-shirt. There we go, Batman t-shirt right there. Is it gonna focus? There. So that's a few of my items. So basically I love high end, low end, middle of the range. I just like to mix it all up and add my designer bag and my designer shoes and that's my style, that's what I like. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do we think sometimes people are overdoing it and just all these labels everywhere? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Meanwhile, if you would like to see more videos from me, I'm gonna link one here, here, and if you're not already subscribed, just press the A right here, and I'll catch you next time. And thank you, Leslie, for the request. Cheers, bye.